open the application called OpenShot Video Editor. You can find it in the My Application folder or try searching your PC. I'm opening it from the My Application folder. If your My Application folder is empty, let me know. I'll have to reload or refresh these applications. It may take a minute for the program to open. Please be patient. We begin by importing files. Click the green plus symbol at the top of the application. Locate your image files. They should be stored in your number drive. Click on the first image, then scroll down to the last image. You could also click Control A if you plan to use all of the files in the folder. Then click Open. Click yes if it asks you to import images in a sequence. This may take a minute or two. After all the images have loaded, you can add them to your timeline. Images you don't need can be removed. Shift-click or press Ctrl-A to select all of your images. Right-click on the image and choose Add to Timeline. You can change the image length to point 1 and then click OK. You can adjust the view of your timeline by pressing the plus symbol or minus symbol. You can push play to preview your animation. It may go slow the first time, but should speed up the second and third time that you play it. You're going to want to save your project, even if you're not finished. Click File, Save Project. I would click on your number drive and save it to that location. This is not the same thing as saving a movie. We are saving things as they appear in this workspace. If your movie is complete, you can export it as a movie. You can go to File, Export Video, or press Control E. I'm going to use the default settings. I see that the target is an MP4. Your movie file will end up in the designated folder. I suggest picking your number drive and giving it a recognizable name. You can locate your number drive by clicking on the Browse button. When everything is set, you may click Export Video.
Once your animation is done exporting, you can then turn in your animation. If you're going to add audio files, click on the Audio tab. You'll see that I've downloaded four different files, and I downloaded these from sites that um, have a Creative Commons license um, or are royalty-free. These audio files can be brought to track four, and you're able to edit them change the length. You could have multiple sound files. I'll try playing this with the audio. You have multiple tracks. You can layer the audio files. If the animation is complete, you can export the animation as previously shown. Make sure that you turn in your animation. If you're going to create a title using OpenShot's Title tab, click on the Title option. There's a number of things that you can choose from. This does run rather slowly on OpenShot. 